Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. I'm Sarah, and today I am in beautiful British Columbia to attend my brother's wedding. And as a wedding gift, I am redoing a set of dressers for him. Well, they're not exactly a set, they're a mismatch pair, but by the end, they're going to be matching with matching handles and paint color for him and his soon to be bride. The wedding is in two days and I have a couple days after that that I'm going to be here so I have a few days to get these projects done and the weather is not being very cooperative it's quite rainy but we're under a porch so hopefully it won't give us any trouble dry times may be a little bit slower though so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna start with cleaning and doing our prep work and then as quickly as we can we'll get it primed painted and finished so that I have time to spend with my family as well so let's get going so my journey from Texas took us to Washington State where we got off our airplanes and switched to a car to drive up over the border. So while I was in Washington, I picked up the liquid products that I would need. I flew with my sander and a few other things in my suitcase, but I went and bought the polyurethane top coat. It's a water-based top coat by Verathane. I got the paint color, which my brother and his fiance picked out. It's called Smoky Wings and it's um, by Bear. So I just went to Home Depot to pick all these things up. I got some Bondo because we have some peeling vanille. Vanille. We have some peeling veneer that we're going to have to glue what's there back down or remove it. And there's some missing pieces. So we're going to need to Bondo it and sand it back smooth. And then I also have my shellac based primer, which is after I clean what I'll be starting with and this is just to make sure there's no bleed through. I don't have time to mess with bleed through, so I'm going to be giving these dressers hopefully two coats a piece to start with. This is from the dollar store. It's a little kit that you can buy. It's got a roller, a little paintbrush, and a tray, completely disposable, so I don't have to worry about washing this stuff out of my brushes or anything that I could borrow from around here because this stuff doesn't like to wash out very easily. So I didn't bring any um, crud cutter with me, which is generally what I use to clean a piece, but my mom has some degreasing dish soap, which will do the job. Um, it's important that your soap, if you're using a dish soap, be a degreasing type so that it gets any greasy oils out of the wood because that'll also help to prevent bleed through from discoloring your paint. So I just have a little bucket of soapy water that I'm going to be cleaning with and it's nice and warm. So that feels really nice but I'm gonna have to go it's quite bubbly as you see so I'm gonna have to go or sudsy I guess you'd call it afterwards with some clean fresh water to make sure that I don't the porch is apparently uneven anyway hopefully the dresser's not uneven I'll have to address that I'll rinse this afterwards to make sure that there's none of this bubbly soap left behind because that'll just be a barrier I don't need between my wood and my paint. Now this is a step I normally never have to do in Texas because it is so nice and hot there that the water evaporates so quickly but I'm gonna wipe down the excess water off of these two dressers because it's chilly and I don't want the water to just sit on the surface until it decides to finally dry so I'm gonna go back there with a towel now and dry my piece off. So I sanded down everything with my sander on the flat parts and then by hand on the smaller and more intricate details, especially the taller dresser. I think somebody had refinished it before and the finish was quite bubbly and uneven so I need to do a little extra sanding on that. But then that brings me to this terrifying thing that you're watching now and that is the peeling veneer that looked so small and innocent when I started but then as I got into it it just kept peeling more and more and it turned into a much bigger problem than I was anticipating. I had originally thought it was just a few pieces I might be able to glue them back down but it was bubbled not just 
kind of loose, but you can't just clamp down a bubbled veneer and get it perfectly smooth again. It's just, I don't know, at least I can't. Maybe if I had a better system for doing it, and I didn't even have any clamps here, so I had to work with what I had, and that was going to be peeling it all back as far as it would go so there was nothing loose, and then filling it in with Bondo. Now I bought some Bondo and I brought it with me, and I was panicking as I peeled this back, worried that I would not have enough because there was just so much that was peeling off. But I did my first layer and then I sanded that smooth and it had lots of pits in it. When you have surface this big, you're probably just going to count on having to do two or even three applications of your Bondo and that is what I ended up doing. Right after that I started priming and as you can see I had sanded one of the boards all the way down to raw wood on one of the sides just to show my brother that it was beautiful wood and it would look so lovely stained but he did the right thing and went with what his fiance wanted which is a solid gray. I put two coats of the primer on and then began my painting process. Now don't worry, the dressers were not tippy, it's just my parents' back porch happens to be quite uneven and full of cracks. Sorry mom, I had to tell on you, but your back porch is, <laughs> it's awful. Anyway, I got to painting it right away and the light gray that they chose was actually a really lovely color and I can see myself picking it out to use again. The color is called Smoky Wings and it's by Bear's Chalk Paint Line or it, it might actually just be one of their regular everyday colors but I got it in their chalk paint and as usual I will be putting a list in the description of all the products that I use so that you can reference that whenever you need to in case you want to buy one of these products that are in today's video. And while you're down there, I'd appreciate it if you would give me a like and shoot me a comment. Thanks! It's the morning after the wedding, and our little lovebirds have taken off on their honeymoon, but I came outside and found that I don't know, maybe it froze, and I have crackling on four out of eight of my drawers, so I'm sanding them back. Uh, today is my last full day here in Canada, so I am going to be on a total crunch time trying to get it all done, so I gotta stop talking and start working. So as you can imagine, from that point on, it was a complete whirlwind to try to get those drawers completely sanded down to raw wood, primed twice, painted twice, and top coated at least twice before I left. And I was <laughs> possibly shedding some very frustrated tears thinking I would never get it all done. That last day in Canada was also the day we had planned to go for a picnic and a hike and I wasn't about to give up that last day with my family either. So I had to hustle so hard and somehow I got it all done. I was going to put the last coat of top coat on the next morning and I went in and found that final drawer of that five drawer dresser had cracked as well. I couldn't believe it. It waited until the top coat was on to crackle and it was worse than the others and I was devastated. I had hustled hard and I was kicking myself for not just doing that fifth drawer with the others since once I sanded it down I started to feel it had more to do with the original finish that I hadn't completely removed 
and I should have just done that fifth drawer, but at that point it was too late and I was leaving that day, headed back for the United States and I just had to do what I could. So I used my sander to completely sand that final drawer down to raw wood and told my brother I was going to have to leave all my supplies and some instructions on how to get it done and my dad assured me that he could do it if my brother didn't want to and so I left the finishing of the project in my father's very capable hands but I was definitely disappointed to not be completely finished with the project so my dad helped me drill the new holes for the hardware that we needed on the shorter dresser it went from knobs to the matching poles so it just needed an extra hole drilled in three inches apart to fit the new poles that I had bought and surprise <laughs> the short dresser had a mirror that I was also working on but I worked on that indoors so I'm realizing that it was completely left out of filming along the way but it did have a mirror and the finished look is beautiful I kind of like the raw wood drawers because that's just my style I would have given it a little staining and sealing and would have kept it that way even though we had a number of bumps along the way I'm so glad that I was able to finish these pieces or <laughs> almost finish these pieces for them and I'm excited for them to start their life together so let me know down in the comments what you think of the dressers and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing so you can see more of our content we are transitioning from posting twice a week to once a week now that fall is hit and I'm starting homeschooling with my little daughter. I've got a lot going on and my number one job is mom. So I'm not going to stop doing furniture but I need to rein it back a little bit so that I have the proper amount of time to spend being mom. So that said, you'll still can expect one video every week from us and maybe a bonus video here and there depending on how quickly I can get projects done. But thank you for joining us today. and. I'll see you guys next week on our furniture flipping adventure. <laughs> Bye.